Hey everybody, it's Raymond Ray with MountainReporter.com coming to you to talk to you about the house fire that happened today in Lake Arrowhead. We were on scene for most of the fire. The fire was reported just after 2.30 in the afternoon. Crews arrived shortly thereafter. We talked to Bob Evans. He's the battalion chief with San Bernardino County Fire. He told us what happened. Bob Evans, San Bernardino County Fire Battalion Chief up on the mountain, Battalion 5, Division 3. Uh, we responded to a reported uh, structure fire this afternoon. I dispatched at 1450. I was the first arriving uh, fire department personnel at seven minutes after that. I arrived to find a, uh, two single family dwellings uh, well involved in fire getting into vegetation. We had a response from both cooperators, Cal Fire and Forest Service as well. Uh, once we were able to initially contain the fire to the dwellings itself, uh, we ran the incident with 10 engine companies, six of which were from the county. Uh, one from the Forest Service and three underneath the CAL FIRE mission. Uh, those coming from CAL FIRE, uh, Running Springs, and Rialto. Um, we had significant losses from both structures. Uh, stubborn fire, we had windy conditions. It took up to uh, 100 minutes to control both, both fires. We were in and out, transitioning from an offensive attack to a defensive attack. And what you see is what remains. Uh, fire still under investigation at this time. And we were broadcasting live for most of the fire. Um, we were on the back side of the house broadcasting live. There was a whole lot of equipment, like Bob said, in the front of the house, and we wanted to stay out of the way. We were able to find a little corner that we could broadcast from where we weren't in anybody's way, and that's what we did, just bringing those live injuries to you. We did speak with one of the neighbors who told us about how she first saw the fire and she reported it to 911. We'll hear from her in just a minute, but we're going to take a quick break to hear from the advertisers who are making these news videos possible. Just a quick reminder that without those advertisers and without us sharing their information, we wouldn't be able to do these news videos for you in these broadcasts. So we talked with Kelly Dubois. She was a neighbor, and here's what she had to say. So everybody, this is Kelly Dubois. Kelly lived next door to the backside neighbor of the fire. Kelly, I understand that you're the one that actually called 911? Yes, actually, I had my sister-in-law call while I was running outside to um, do what I could with the hose. What were you doing when you found out that the house was burning? What were you doing? I was upstairs uh, painting in a bathroom and I all of a sudden heard this snap, crackle, pop and I'm like, who's burning brush at this time of the day? Wow. And so I immediately looked out and saw the back house in fully engulfed in flames. Wow. And so immediately I ran downstairs, had my sister-in-law call 911, immediately got out the hoses, um, trying to hose down every roof, every tree, every fence. Um, in between the houses just to make sure that it, this fire didn't spread. And it's a good thing we did because when the um, propane tanks went up, it created a huge explosion and just the backyards were engulfed as well. So I did hear, I got reports on the way here there was an explosion. Did you say that was the propane tanks that exploded? Yes, because of the barbecues in the backyard. Got it. How big was that explosion? Pretty big. I mean, it, it basically engulfed the whole backyard and it was burning for quite some time because there was a lot of, must have been a lot of propane in that tank. Wow. Well, we're glad that you're okay, and I'm sure that all the neighbors want to give you a huge thanks for number one calling it in, and then also for making sure that you had your hose out there wetting it down as much as you could. <laughs> My brother's a firefighter, a fire captain for LA County, so I, I made sure I followed his lead as far as uh, all the things he told me to do in the event of a fire. So well, that's it paid fantastic. Off. <laughs> Thank you so much, and thanks for him for letting you know what to do. Yes. And for your bravery and <laughs> following those instructions. And taking care of the neighbors homes that's great yeah no we have a lot to thank for the other neighbors who also joined in as soon as you know they were bringing hoses they were grabbing hoses and so it was a good neighborhood effort uh, trying to save these houses very good well thank you very much for your time you're welcome thank you all right and how cool is that that the homeowners all got together and the neighbors were helping each other with their water hoses to keep that fire from spreading one of the really cool things that we have that's unique to our mountains and again, you want to use this week as your opportunity to sit with your family, plan out one night, just pick a night and make it happen where you Google evacuation preparation, figure out what the best things are that you need for your home in order to be able to be ready to go when it's time to evacuate.
you don't want to be caught in a situation where you're scrambling and you have no idea what to do your family doesn't know what to do nobody can get a hold of each other it's a terrible thing to be in some of us went through that during the evacuations up here and those are not good stories to hear so this is a reminder for all of us to get with our families get those evacuations uh, packages put together and have your plans ready and a real quick public service announcement from the California Highway Patrol today um, when there is a house fire or a fire happening and there's fire hoses across the street do not drive across the fire hoses turn around go the other way the officer was there trying to stop people from running over the hoses they weren't listening but there was too many of them for him to be able to stop any of them it is a ticketable offense and we were asked by the chp just to make that quick public service announcement don't run over in the fire hoses at the scene of a fire this is ray with mountainreporter.com coming to you from the san bernardino mountains we'll talk to you later